Hey guys, welcome to the construction site on Wednesday. Today we are back with some water pipeline work. The guys are here with the excavator, some pipes, and then walking in the other directions towards the road. Because they're digging there where they left off last time uh, with the underground pass through. They're making the hole larger, finding the electrical work and uh, you know there's a collision with some electric and uh, yeah here are the pipes really cool so we got our electrical work uncovered it's right over there measuring around 170 centimeters deep uh, in Poland you have to put the water lines quite far down due to the due to the freezing line being around a meter deep so they're putting it quite lower just to be super safe Alrighty guys, so the inspector just stopped by. It's the next day, Thursday, yesterday. The guys stopped because the ground was collapsing. They had to bring some forms. But in the end, it turned out they managed without them this morning. So the inspector just stopped by from the water uh, municipality, water company, to check on the uh, bands, the progress, and, you know, the connections and he signed off, he said it's okay uh, just uh, put some uh, foundation under the connectors so they're solid that they don't get turned and uh, disconnected somehow but all in all looks really good so the tree does pay on the tree, the tree does pay on the tree, right? yes, the tree is the tree Kształtka jest odcięta, w środku są zatopione druty elektrooporowe. W momencie jak dostaje prąd to stawia kształtkę i z odpowiednio wysoką temperaturą zaczyna po prostu czytać wtedy rurę. I czyli, spaja się jedno z czyli to kształtka się to spaja do rury? Tak. Aha. Przytapia kształtkę, przytapia rury i potem jak wystygnie to obydwie się zespajają razem. So this machine you see here is basically a resistor based uh, melting machine for that little black uh, angle, it's like a 45 degree angle bend. It provides uh, electricity to some heating elements. The heating elements melt the plastic and the whole thing becomes one continuous pipe. Really cool. It's a bit wet and the sides are sliding and collapsing, but that's you know just the trench is a bit wider. You can see the guys have put down some foil and also some tarps 
over here to protect the road from getting uh, spoiled with the, uh, with the dirt. This way, remove the dirt back and then the rest just scoot it over, remove the fall and it should be okay, more or less I hope. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. So on this side you can see the bend sort of lifted up in here. You guys will have to take out some dirt from underneath it to put it a bit more down. On top of the pipe, the guys are placing a tape with a metal uh, wire inside so that uh, it can be found. So it can be found later on with a metal detector or if somebody has a uh, metal detector on the end of the excavator, uh, then that works fine too. So, really, really good. Alright guys, the crew building the pipeline, water pipeline is gone now for the day. I've been uh, uh, sort of missing out a bit because uh, our contractor for the windows came to measure the openings, the rough openings for the window order. We're close to finalizing it, it's been taking way too long time. But as you can see, this is like a piece of equipment I think the guys wanted to use to dig in between so that the ground doesn't collapse in but I think they said the row that Mr. Wojciech built is so well compacted it's so well compacted that the dirt doesn't collapse in from that side so they were managing without it and they'll come tomorrow put more sections in and soon enough we'll have our water at the house finally right alrighty so I'll probably stitch together stitch all of these together into one long episode about the water because it's just short clips today and yesterday so I'll talk to you soon hey guys good morning welcome to the construction site on uh, Monday we got an early start today on the water pipeline I'm here with the guys we dug out the telecom uh, pipe for the internet cable it's laying out here and the guys have been digging also around there
So we made about 15 meters progress in I don't know an hour and a half. Really good. So that is currently the issue that the sides of the uh, excavation are collapsing in and we're fighting with that a lot. <laughs> 